Never return evil with evil. Don't be overcome by evil, but overcome evil by doing good. Can you do that? Come on, someone do you wrong you. What are you doing? <sighs> that person, huh? <sighs> I'm not going to greet him anymore. Yeah, stay away from him, huh? Hey, huh, brood? When a someone is treating you badly, what should you do according to the Bible? Hmm? Not only bless him, go and greet him. Try to speak to him. In Jesus' name. It's easy to say, bless you. If bless you remain a saying, it means nothing. Blessing means you give yourself to that person. Amen? Then you bless the person. Amen? Hallelujah. Not returning evil for evil or reviling for reviling, but on the contrary, blessing, knowing that you were called to do this. Amen? That you may inherit a blessing. Give Jesus a hand. Amen. So ask the guy next to you, why should you do all these things? Because you want to. And if you do them, you will inherit a blessing. That's a promise. You want a blessing? Do what Jesus tells you to do. Love your enemies. Can you love your enemies? I challenge you. Can you love your enemies? When I see someone doesn't like me, I go out of my way to bless him. Not only say, I bless you, I speak to the person. I ask him, how are you doing? Can I pray maybe for you? Then I invite such a one to church. I tell you, that person will become your friend. How do you know that God's favor is on you? When your previous enemies have become your friends. Give Jesus a hand. <laughs> then you know God's goodness and favor is on you. Jesus got raised from a dead to bring us close to the life of God so that we can give this life to others around us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. I know many, no pastor, bless me, just bless me. No, you want to be blessed. Do what the Bible tells you to do. Because the Bible is Jesus speaking to you. You should have a relationship with your Bible. The spirit of your Bible, which is the word of God. Say to God, which is the word of God. In Jesus' name. Amen? Listen to this. Huh? But on the contrary, blessing, knowing that you were called to this, that you may inherit a blessing. For ye who would love life and see good days. Ask the guy next to you, is that you? Would you love life and see good days? Let him refrain his tongue from evil. Oh, Jesus. Pray, Lord Jesus. Grant me this grace. Please. In Jesus' name. That I will refrain my tongue from evil. Come on. Today you're in church. Tomorrow there's conflict. Or, or Tuesday there's conflict at work. How do you treat the one you've got conflict? You say to your buddy, you know what? I, I'm, I'm, I'm sick and tired of that one. Huh? What did your tongue do now? Your tongue show you what is going on in your heart. Say to God, your tongue is your test. Your tongue show you what is going on in your heart. So now you come to work today, you listen to the service. It's the sermon. Tuesday morning you get to work, there's trouble at work. There's opposition, someone different from you. You go to your best friend at work, you say, you know what, that person. Yes. Yes. I don't want to speak to him today. Because he's doing that and that. Say to God, hey. Be careful of your tongue. You want to see good days? Refrain your tongue from evil. Keep quiet. Ish, that one, I don't want to speak to him. What did you do? You just allowed the devil to rob you of your blessing. Huh? 
Even if a person is an evildoer, don't speak about him. Refrain your tongue from all evil, even if he is wrong or evil. Don't let you be overcome by his evil, but overcome his evil by doing good and rather pray for him. Amen. Say to God, you rather pray for such a one. Pray, Lord Jesus, I need this grace in my life. Because if you start to speak evil about the one who is even wrong, let's say the person at work is 100% wrong. And you are 100% right. But now, you are not 100% right anymore because you speak against him. You allow the evil to rob you of your blessing. What should, what should you have done? You should have not discussed this with anyone in an evil manner. If you discuss it with someone because it needs to be discussed, this, check your spirit. Set your is to check your spirit. In what spirit will you discuss it? Because some things need to be discussed. In what spirit will you discuss it? Set your is to when you discuss it, make very sure your enemy is not robbing you from blessing. Evil will rob you from a blessing if you are joining the evil. It's so easy to join evil. A person is harming you, is doing wrong things, etc., etc. You start to speak to about him in an evil manner, in an agitated spirit. You have become a partaker of evil. Pastor, what you tell me now is impossible to live by. Uh-uh. Nothing is impossible with God. Set your gun is to, if problems get discussed, check your spirit. In what kind of spirit are you speaking? 